Hello friends and welcome to Hand Unravel. This is the first ever video and today we're going to do something really really special, really really peculiar and that is, you must have seen the title already, how to get your own domain name for free. But before we move on further, let's start off our first channel, first video with an amazing intro. Alright, so what is a domain name? You know, when you create websites, either when you code them using HTML or other coding, or you just go to preset sites like Google Sites, GoDaddy, Wix, uh, and, or Bluehost, WordPress, you can create your own website based on the templates they have. Now, what you can do, uh, when you create your own website, you need something uh, using coding, you need something called web hosting. Now, we're going to do not go into all that details. Suppose you create a website using one of these third party website creators. For example, let's take Google Sites. I create a website on Google Sites. Now, what will be my URL be? The URL is the thing that you type on the top HTTP or HTTPS colon slash slash www dot or just that something 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 dot com or dot in or dot org or dot us or something okay so that's a url so if you create a, a site in google sites for example your url will be w https slash colon slash slash www dot sites dot google dot com slash view slash the name of your site if you create something for a wix site or if you create a site using wix then it will be www dot your thing dot wixsite.com so you see these uh, site creators are trying to put their name for advertisement now if you want to get your own domain name for example if you are creating a site let's say a temporary site you want something called temporary site.com and that was the one you need to put there then you need your own domain that's called a domain something 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 that you decide okay so domain names are usually expensive for example most sites dot com domain is at least around ten dollars so today we are going to teach you how to get your own domain name without even spending a single penny yes that's right so without any further ado let's turn on the screen recorder and let's get on screen so guys now that we're on the screen first thing you want to do is open your browser i prefer google chrome you guys might be preferring something else and on the search bar type freenorm.com once you type freenorm.com you should go to this amazing site right here. Instead of freenorm, you can also type dot dot tk. Now both these sites are interconnected. They run on the same account. Both of you will give domain names for zero percent charge. Now what I want to do uh, when I shot this video earlier, I really had a technical error. So what I have done, I've already got a domain and kept it ready. So I'll just tell you what all you need to do. So just search some random website, which is going to type randomly on the keyboard and we just have to check availability right here you can see we have for zero dollars all of them are free you can see dot com is around 8.38 dollars now that is expensive we want something free you can't get dot com and all those are all high end you need to pay for them but you can manage with these they're pretty good actually they just you just the ma name matters the extension does it so all you have to do is click on get it now i already prefer tk i have chosen tk uh, click on checkout once you click on checkout, there's a big bug right here. Now what you want to do, you can see yours and you can see three months for free. Click this and you can see here there's a better extension for 12 months at free. One year is $9, but 12 months is free. Just ignore that. And you just have to click continue. Don't mess up with any settings, otherwise you lose your domain. Here they just ask you to sign in and then they will take you to the page. Now I've already bought domain, so let me just really quickly sign in and let me get back. So guys, welcome back. Now I have got a domain name for free in an account that I have previously been using. So all you have to do is click on services and go to my domains. It'll take you, as you can see, I have already got domains for other websites. I have other channels such as hand, speak hand speeches and hand gamerscope, which I've already got domains for. But here we have this domain that I've taken called temporary site.tk. Now all you want to do is now you know that your domain is active and it's free. So just go to manage domain. And here, don't mess with any settings. Just go to manage free knob DNS. Now that's done. Now, once you create your website, for example, in a site called Google Sites, and when they tell you to, you know, connect your domain name, you have to verify your domain name. And now I am going to tell you how you can verify your domain name. I searched the net for a lot of tutorials on how you can get free domain names. You can see right here. 
but no one tells you how you can properly verify your domain name so all you have to do is go here type the following email address anyway for your save, uh, convenience i'll put it in the description below it's google.com slash webmasters slash verification now if you go here you can already see i've already verified two of my emails now all you have to do you won't see anything here if you're new to webmaster central now just click on add a property and ours is them you know what just so that you don't make any mistakes in the spelling go here copy this address real quick control c and control v right here and click continue now once continue has been clicked you will bring uh, you will be brought to this amazing little place where i'll tell you now most of this think that you have done your coding in an html verification file so you have to download a file and then paste it over there that is going to be really hectic so go to alternate methods and you should see domain name provider so click that and then here you should see select your domain name register now the first time when i came here i got frightened because if i go to f there's only fasthosts.uk and then i tried every other method every other thing uses html codes then i found out a cool hack that if you go completely down there's something called other so click on other now here you have a dns configuration we do not want a dns configuration because dns doesn't work so here you can have a c name record okay here as you can see you will get two a label host and the destination target so copy the first one go to your client area and here you can see name paste that then copy the second code and go here you can see target paste that make sure to leave the ttl the same but type remember to change to c name because we are adding a c name label so make sure it's c name and click on save changes if it says something error or something then means just check a spelling there and make sure it's on c name and it's on uh no need to change the ttl once it says record added successfully you're good to go now all you have to do is click on verify now remember once you click verify you might get the screen which i'm getting let's just see let's just wait for a second uh it takes some time now you might get the screen that's saying that you were using the dns c name record method we were unable to connect your server this is nothing to worry this is because we have just entered our target so it might take a little time almost up to five minutes for this to become verified and then once it has completed verification then we can proceed on and it'll bring a new screen so what i'm going to do is um, all you have to do is go here go to other and add cname record don't worry no need to change everything everything is still the same now all you have to do is wait for five minutes and try after five minutes and then click on verify and we'll get back to you there hello guys welcome back now we just did some checking i know some of you gonna be like oh bro look at the time down at 7 47 you left long time early trust me guys i want to take a break and this process does not take more than five minutes so you don't have to worry just wait like two three minutes and then just try if it doesn't work wait in two three minutes it should happen now i waited for about uh i should say 15 20 minutes i did, i have never really been calculating let's click on verify it should probably come now as you can see our temporary site.tk is now verified now we can use google services pro pro property as search console congratulations guys this has successfully been verified now that is all you need to do if you want your domain to na name to be verified and that is basically the whole process guys if you like this process make sure to use it in your website as it's completely free and no problematic and that's our video friends if you like this video please like share subscribe and this is the first video so try help spreading our hand on ravel channel a little bit hopefully all the tech savvy people will definitely come towards our channel because this is a great channel for all the things you need to know in your big box of your computer and that's the video friends i'll see you in the next video of hand unraveled and keep watching all the other videos visit the other channels click the links in the description you will have a lot number of things i'll see you in the next video until next time people